They are never before seen images more than a thousand feet below the ocean surface, miles off the Oregon coast. Images that reveal rare marine life. News Channel 8's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers is here to explain how one environmental group hopes to use it for change. Keely? Well, Joe, the group is called Oceana, an international organization dedicated to protecting marine environment. Its latest expedition was just last week, right off the Oregon coast. People don't get to see the bottom of the seafloor, right? You know, the only time we know it's there is because it comes up in a research trawl net or from a fishing net. Uh, and that's really the only pictures that we get. Uh, what we're doing is diving down with a remotely operated vehicle and getting to see these habitats undisturbed. And it's fascinating. It's way too deep for scuba divers. You can only get down there with a remotely operated vehicle or a, a, a manned submersible. So few people have ever done it. We've been capturing uh, some quality, high-definition images and gathering a lot of scientific data. We'll be sharing the data and the images and the information with uh, federal fishery managers to inform uh, conservation of these habitats and long-term sustainability of our oceans. A Miss Linda is a 76-foot boat that we've converted from being a fishing vessel to uh, doing research. I'm really, really glad to be out of that industry um, and having a research vessel, I get to go around with quite a few different scientists and uh, research organizations and have the experience of some of the leading edge discoveries that are taking place out here in our oceans and on our oceans and for our oceans. And um, it's just really a privilege now for me to be able to work with the scientists that are out here doing this leading edge research. Part of the reason that we chose this area of the West Coast is because this is the area that has some of the highest bycatch of corals and sponges anywhere uh, in terms of the data that we have. And so it basically just lights up as bright red on all our maps. And so that was the reason that we actually chose this whole region as the place that we were going to do our 2013 expedition. This spot is really one of the uh, one of the key focus areas that we're, we're looking at in terms of looking at some of the problems in terms of fisheries impacts. The idea of discovery that we may actually find something new and, and really contribute to our knowledge of what how the ocean works and what's even down here off our coast, that's what really drives me and that's why I'm so excited to be out here. Let's see what we've got down there, and, uh, and then we can come back and tell the story later. We launched that ROV into the depth, and uh, it was a true discovery. The rockfish were all nestled up, every crevice of a sponge seemed to have rockfish hanging out in there, tucked in for the night. It was absolutely incredible. What a privilege and an honor, you know, as a scientist and ocean conservationist to get to be able to document such a place like that. There aren't many pristine places like that left in our planet, places that haven't been seen before, and uh, today is a, or tonight is a, a, a opportunity that we got down there to see a place no one's seen before.
I've been with Oceana 10 years now and we've steadily increased our our footprint, I, so to speak, on the uh, Pacific Coast and protected hundreds of thousands of square miles of habitat from the worst fishing impacts and we're looking to do more here in the next few years. I'm glad my colleagues invited me down on this mission to follow up on some protections of habitat we proposed years ago and the uh, fellows here are fighting hard at the fish councils to convince them these areas are worth protecting. I think we're gathering a lot of information that'll help them make the right choice here.